Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove some stock apps from your Galaxy S4 to just take up a bunch of memory. So let's get started. Okay guys, so um, let me start off by saying you do have to be rooted and this will work on actually any device pretty much um, but this video is going to be specifically for the S4 um, so I'll have a video down below to show you how to root your S4. It is very, very easy and sh should be easy, as I said. So then we're going to go into the Play Store and we're going to install an app called Titanium Backup. Now search it up. It's one of the most popular apps in Google Play. And you'll just install it. Once you've installed it, you're just going to click Open. It'll ask for super user permission and you'll allow it, okay? So not only does this app let you remove some stock apps, but you can also back up your apps. So when you flash another ROM, you could restore the apps. I'm not going to get into that right now because that's not what the video is for, but just letting you know that this could do it too. So here we're going to go into backup and restore. And now we could look through all the apps that we have installed. So guys, you have to be very careful when you're here, because if you install something wrong, you might have to completely wipe your device and flash stock ROM, and that takes a while, okay, and not everybody could do it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to have a whole list of apps here, all this stuff, and you could look through here. I've already deleted all my at and apps, because they just take up a bunch of memory and are completely useless. And the ones that you can't um, uninstall are the ones that are red. The ones that you can uninstall are white. So, I mean, who really wants Google Play Books, magazines, if you don't use that stuff? I mean, it's just taking up uh, memory. So, what you want to do is you're going to click on that app. So, let's say I don't need Google Play Books. I'm going to click on that. And right here, it's going to say uninstall. So, we're going to click uninstall. It will give you a warning. Make sure to read it, okay? Please, please do not uninstall anything that you do not that will mess up your phone, okay? Because I've heard of people uninstalling the phone app and stuff like that, and you're not going to be able to get it back, okay? Stuff like this, Google Play Books, you could go install it from the store. AT&T apps, I mean, who really needs that? Same if you're on Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon. So, as long as you read it and you make sure that this app is okay to install, you're going to click yes. We'll give you another warning pop-up screen as they are very serious that you don't do something wrong. Make sure to look over that it's the right one. So books APK, it'll give you some um, stuff right here. And do you want to uninstall it? We're going to click yes. It'll uninstall Google Play Books. And there you go. You'll get a message right here. It should say uninstall complete. And now if we go over here, where all the Google apps are, where are those suckers? Here, there's no Google Play Books here now. So, um, guys, as I said, you could just keep using that method to go through and delete the apps you don't need. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And also hit down below like, as I said. And yeah, guys. I